Welcome back to my channel, y'all. How are you? I hope you guys are well. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back. So happy to be here. Thank you so much for being here. I just want to go ahead and start off this video with an immense amount of gratitude. Um, I'm just opening up my heart space to this moment, to this space with you, wishing you guys just great energy, wishing you guys well. I, go, I hope you guys have been maintaining. I know these are have definitely been some hard times that we are facing. Um, and I just want to say thank you so much, you guys, for just being so kind. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you for your compassion, not just towards me, but like towards each other. You guys blow me away with your compassion towards each other and how you support each other. Um, I do read the comments, so I do check. And it's been really refreshing to see this kind of humanity and like collaboration, you know, helping each other, really working with each other. So I do want to say um, also thank you so much for my clients who have been so sweet and supportive. Thank you for all your donations. Thank you for supporting the channel in general. And if you guys would like to continue to donate, you can go ahead and use my cash app. You can use my Amazon wish list. And I also have an independent deck wish list as well if you guys choose. Um, yeah, and... Please don't forget to check out my Instagram. I have testimonials, reviews. I do pick a card readings on there. I also have a Reiki giveaway right now, a healing session with a one card pull of any question that you guys may have. Okay. So with that being said, for those of you who are new to my channel, I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with the channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium and I do offer mediumship based readings. You guys, those are priced a little bit differently, but all my information to book a personal will be below. I also have, um, yeah, I also do Reiki giveaways once in a while on my Insta story. Um, so you definitely want to add me on there. And yeah, so thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for being here. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, do I have anything else that I want to say? Rachel, thank you so much for um, just being awesome. My client, Rachel, you're amazing. Um, also, big, big shout out to... Oh my gosh, I don't have the paper in front of me. I'm sorry, forgive me. I will, I, I just, I've been on the on the go today. I've been go, go, go. Um, I'll come back to the list. I'm going to get it ready and organized and we'll come back to it, okay? But um, everyone, thank you. So we're going to go ahead and do a pick a card based on what's their next move. Let's get an energy update on your person. Are they going to come towards you? What's going on with them? Are they going to make time? Like, what's the deal? Do they want to come towards you? So we'll go ahead and see what's going on. Yeah? Okay. So I am going to use my friends, if I can find it. Yeah, I'm going to use my, um, I'm going to use my friend's deck today. Um, her name is Nicole and she has an Etsy up. Um, this deck is fantastic. I love it because it's pink and it matches a lot of my, my, um, my cards. Okay. It's really beautiful. It's very feminine and I love it. So this is called the divine feminine oracle deck okay i'm gonna link her link below so let's go ahead and get your um let's go ahead and see what's going on let's get the decks in order and see what is happening for you okay ready the first is going to be the luminous the luminous tarot okay the second is going to be arcanum and the third is going to be the angel tarot okay so think of your person think of your situation if 
you need more time, pause the video. Okay, let's see what's going on here. All right, pile one. Let's see what your person's next move is going to be, okay? Let's get a little channeled message and see what's happening. Let's see what's really going on with this person. What's the table? What's the two? <laughs> okay, pile one. Let's get the tea for pile one. What's going on? Wow, this person has, has been, um, they've been soul searching, they've been doing a lot of work, they've been doing a lot of inner work, they've been, um, they've been really thinking about their lives in a hermit mode, like this person has, has definitely stepped into, they've definitely stepped into a hermit mode in terms of this connection, there's a lot of shame around this connection, I'm not too sure why, but I'm almost feeling like a heaviness around their heart chakra, it feels like there's like a heaviness in their upper heart and there's like a heaviness in their middle heart chakra is what it feels like. It feels like this person has been actively removing themselves from you to try to make sense of what's happening in their own life. And I feel like they, they've been kind of traveling this road right now. They're really traveling and journeying. Like I'm hearing a vision quest. I'm also having a vision of the owl totem here. I'm having a vision of the turtle as something that is symbolic for your connection. I'm also getting a vision of the wolf. Okay. So there is an energy here of, um, this person really is trying to find guidance from within and they're also trying to find guidance within their ancestors and their spirit guides. This person is really, 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 they're really divine. They're really divine and they're very special in terms of their spiritual practice. Whether you know it or not, this person is very in tune. Um, they feel a level of embarrassment when it comes to you. I'm getting, I'm hearing... You matter, you matter. This person really feels like they disappointed you. Something happened and they disappointed you is what I'm hearing. And there's like been a level of... Finding my truth, finding my truth. This person had a tower moment before they moved away from you. This person has been really refocusing a lot of their energy in terms of their life. I feel like they, they've they been battling with some addictions. For some of you, this person's been battling with addictions. They've been battling with their own inner shadow. They've been battling with their own life in general. They... It's, this person ran away from home a lot is what I'm getting. I'm also getting a vision that they wear black a lot or they love to wear jewelry. This person is really like, they're really into fashion, okay? They're really, this person is really into fashion. So finances, of course, see my intuition. Again, the focus has been finances and career. They've been really trying to find themselves. They've been really trying to kind of redirect their energies. They've been trying to, um, they like, they've been trying to eliminate distractions, but I also feel like this person kind of sees you as divine order. They see you as so divine and spiritual and like perfect. They don't feel worthy of you right now. This person is really struggling with their worth is what I'm getting. This person recently had an epiphany. I feel like they had a very toxic relationship with their family, but something about their father and this connection, they feel like they're repeating their father's patterns when it comes to you. Okay. Um, 
This person is really deep. They feel like a Scorpio. This person feels like a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. They feel really deep, like Sag, Aries, Leo, Libra, but they feel like they think a lot. This person's like a thinker, okay? They, they, they do think a lot. Um, and they've been kind of just isolating. I'm getting a lot of isolation here. And contemplating and also kind of avoiding they're like they're heavily avoidant of this connection for whatever reason and um yeah it's like they're blocking communication like they're blocking any kind of yeah this person can't listen they this person has been gone for quite some time. So I feel like this is something that maybe was like unrequited for quite some time. And I feel it is now kind of like things are sort of kind of awakening. Things are sort of kind of really coming out into the light in terms of their own inner wisdom about you. I feel like they've been really wanting to to change things between you, okay? Because I'm hearing matrimony, I'm hearing union, I'm hearing this person is really someone that you've already kind of, you know, you've been dealing with off and on, worth the way. Both of you guys feel so intense towards each other is what I'm getting. And then with the honeymoon, there's a distance, there's a lot of feelings here. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Engagement. So there's a level of like, true honor between you guys there's a level of true understanding between you guys there's a level of really seeing this through i feel like this person has been oh my god i'm having a vision of them they have red eyes or there's something about this person is struggling with their soul you guys like they've really they've really been at odds with themselves um i feel like they're maybe they've lived a life that has been very um kind of lower vibrational out of survival so i am getting an energy here of things moving things changing for you for the better this person wants to make a change they want to improve this connection with you they want to make things better with you they want to really establish um new territory but right now it's almost like they're looking at the sunrise and they're thinking about you they're thinking about what am I going to say to them? How am I going to approach this? I don't feel good enough. I feel like I'm in such a dark place. This person is just in their head about you, okay? So let's go ahead and see how they're feeling We're with the tarot. How are they feeling? So both of you guys are actively working on your own career. You're actively working on yourself right now. I feel like the feminine in this connection, a lot of you guys have been waiting for this person. You're, you're actively waiting. You're like, when am I going to hear from you? Um, some of you guys may work in the field of law, justice, or, or social work, okay? But there's a level of, like, really wanting some answers. There's a lot of conflict here, okay? This person feels conflicted, like I said. They feel conflicted because there's a lot of things tugging at them. Not only work, not only career, or balancing their money. They have outside influences that are influencing this connection this person is currently feeling very jealous if anyone is trying to get at you or if anyone's trying to pursue you romantically this person is really really jealous of that this person does not want anyone else to have you there's a lot of conflicting emotions about you in general okay i'm hearing this person say i'll follow you around the world I'll follow you around the world. Like wherever you go, I'll follow you around the world. This person is like really committed to you. Okay, they're like really committed to seeing this through. Um, but they, it's like, they, they keep a distance because I'm almost getting some of you guys, this person feels like when they come close to you that they feel activated or they feel triggered or something about this makes them feel really intense. Yes. They feel like you know things about them that they don't even know about themselves or they are so afraid of your intuition. Some of you guys are really intuitive. You're very spiritual and you're very elegant, you're very, you're just different, and they fear that a lot of you guys have 
the spiritual power and strength to dominate them or to dominate the situation. You have a lot of control over them. Um, even energetically, they feel how you can kind of, um, they really feel how you manipulate the situation. Not manipulate, but maybe you're, you're overpowering them and they don't like that. It's conflicting to them because this person wants to be in control, okay? This person really wants to actively be in control of their emotions, of the situation, and they don't want to be, they don't want to be dominated. They don't want to be dominated. They don't want to be controlled. And they feel that with you, you like bring such a beautiful level of vulnerability that they've never felt before. The sun here is so prominent for your element. You guys both create a sense of alchemy and 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 beauty like there's so much masculine energy like a co-creation here from a place of joy from a place of passion vitality and just you guys have a good connection but there is a runner here so this feels like a twin flame situation there's definitely a runner here um this person i feel right now they're feeling again there's there's a lot of um avoidance not just with you, but self. This person might even hurt themselves when they get really upset. They might hurt themselves or they might just kind of create some kind of conflict within, like they purposely sabotage connections. They purposely sabotage themselves. They're purposely sabotaging something. And I feel like a big part of this is because they are in a lot of pain. This person is in a lot of pain. I feel like they have a lot of issues with their family, you guys. This person comes from a very broken home, or it's almost like their ancestors come from a very broken home. There's an energy here of, like, having a lack of um, growth. Like, you know, they, they grew up, it's almost like they grew up kind of on the fly. They're not used to feeling deeply about anyone, and with you, this person really does feel deeply, okay? So let's go ahead. So what's their next move? So let's see what's their next move here. Pile one, what's their next move here with you? I'm hearing let's start over. Let's start over. Let's hit the reset button. This person wants like a reset. They want like a restart with you, okay? I feel like they really do. They really want to restart um, everything. It's like they're going to come in with an offer. This person's going to come in with an offer. It's just not going to be the offer that you expect it to be, okay? I feel it's going to be more casual. It's going to be maybe more platonic. Yeah. It's going to be more about... It's, it's going to orbit around wanting to kind of create a different environment with you it's not going to be so much about love it's going to be more about how can we establish a stronger friendship you know what i mean i'm hearing boundaries some of you guys really need to set some stronger boundaries around this person because i feel like there's a level of there's a level of this person wanting to kind of create some friction around your boundaries. Like this person may want their cake and they may want to eat it too, okay? They may want to kind of be with you, but they're also kind of conflicted. So they're going to come in and try to test the waters. So I am getting in June, there's going to be a lot of movement here. I'm getting a lot of communication, a lot of action in terms of communication. But again, they're going to test you. I feel like they're going to really see... Um, what kind of person you are they're going to come back around with an offer of let's be friends and then you guys got to hit them with that okay let's be friends yeah um, platonic right so a lot of you guys are going to hit them with that platonic love of like okay yeah let's be friends hi friend guys can't slip up on this one because this person is trying to see how much they can get from you because they feel so conflicted i feel like they want you but they don't want to commit to you so if you guys want a commitment from this person you need to establish i'm hearing boundaries like you guys have to establish some serious ground around this person okay let's 
This person is going to come towards you. They're going to definitely work towards this. It's just going to be slow. They're very guarded. This person has been through a lot in their life. This person has definitely experienced heavy trauma in their life. So for them, there is a lot of ego covering their soul, covering their heart. They have a hard time. They have a really, really hard time being themselves. They have a really hard time opening up their vulnerability to love because of what they've been through. This person has a hard time telling you how they feel, and this is something that you've probably even noticed, okay? You even notice this in the way you guys interact, okay? I'm also having a vision of Saturn here. So again, there there's a level of maybe like a lot of defensiveness, like Saturn represents growth, maturity, a lot of um, having to mature pretty quickly. So this person may have heavy, excuse me, Saturn in their chart. <clears throat> and this is something that definitely keeps you guys in a limbo because they are so afflicted with a lot of their karma or challenges. This person is like lost right now and they feel lost without you, which is why I feel like in June, there's going to be, I'm hearing cooperation, there's going to be a lot of harmony, there's going to be a lot of connections, there's going to be a lot of reconnecting, okay, I feel like mm, this person is going to be very in tune with you, um, they're going to be really, really in tune with you, in tune with what you're offering, and they're going to be this person wants to be with you. They really want to be with you. They really do. They're going to realize that they've been... What's their next move? Power. They're going to realize that they have been in this denial about this connection. They're going to let go of their defensiveness. So really, ultimately, this person's going to come towards you. And they're trying to make a change. They're going to heal with you. They want to heal with you. They do. So if you guys are healers, they're going to ask you for healing. They're going to ask you to be supportive of them. They're going to ask you to be there for them. Um, this person is going to ask you to, you know, be more involved in their life. And they want to be more involved in yours. There's going to be a lot of, like, wanting to kind of be there for you and connect with you. Okay? Um, I feel I'm, I'm hearing, like, May 20. I want to say May 26th through June, there's going to be a lot of movement. It's going to be more than ever. It's going to be definitely more than ever. So the end of the toxicity is over. The end of a lot of, a lot of this stuff is going to be over. Okay. So I feel like you guys are going to come into balance. It's really beautiful. As of right now, in terms of actual communication, like maybe texting or emailing, hearing eight days okay so give it eight days this month eight days I feel like you guys are going to definitely communicate more than ever but I do see actual movement in terms of action the 26th on okay all right my loves I hope that helped let's go ahead and finish off with some messages from them okay with again the Nicole deck I'm going to link her her um her info below this deck is beautiful. It's, it's the Divine Feminine, but I like to use this in regards to all my readings, like even for the Divine Masculine, okay? So what, are, what messages do we have from them? I am always looking at your world. This person really holds you in a high standard. I feel it. I'm hearing you're like an emerald, like you are so beautiful and loving. That's just from your person. That's just from your person. They don't like being apart. They don't like being away from you. They like being with you, you know? They do. They like being with you. They don't like being away from you. So they're coming out of being in their own way. Okay, they're really trying to make some changes are really trying to change. Um, this person is trying to actively heal with you. I feel like they want to heal with you. 
because they know that you understand them. They know that you have a deep understanding of the human psyche. So they really want to kind of heal with you. They really want to reach that level of healing with you. Okay. All right, my love. Let's continue. All right, pile. Pile two. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with your person. What's their next move? Okay, let's channel. Pile two. I'm hearing rose, rose-colored tinted glasses. Rose-colored tinted glasses. Wow. Okay. There's a lot of love here, you guys. There's a lot of love here. There's definitely a lot of love. Pile two. Recognizing my errors. This person likes to spend a lot of time by the water. And they also feel like they have been putting on a mask with you. I feel like this person has been finessing you. They have been ultimately setting things up to make things it's like things have been a little bit conflicting between you guys this person wants to talk to you I feel like there are things that are left unclear there are things that they want to clear up that are left unclear and I feel like it's really important for them right now to kind of clear this the feminine here does not want to hear it so I don't know if you guys are here just to check in on your person, but I'm almost getting like a talk to the hand because the face ain't listening. The feminine here has had enough. Wow. Some of you guys are actually moving towards your education or a higher education or you're moving into a new direction. There's an energy here moving on, moving forward. Yeah, you're you're really you're really pushing this person away. This person right now this connection is very very wounded. It's like there was an ugly separation. I'm hearing there's conflict with words. There's conflicting ideas. But either both of you guys feel this deeply, okay? But there was a deep separation here. A lot of you guys are feeling really triggered like that song um who was that Janae Aiko, triggered? Yeah, you guys are feeling really triggered by this person, vice versa. There's a lot of abandonment stuff being healed. This person walked away with someone else, and now they're regretting it. Okay, I feel like this person, you guys may have had a conversation. Maybe this person lied to you. You freed yourself. You freed yourself. And maybe this person wasn't, like, completely honest with you about their intentions but they absolutely have held on to you because they thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side with retreat. And the grass is not greener on the other side, okay? They thought maybe things were going to be better. I, it almost feels like the masculine in this connection was not really seeing or honoring this connection at first. I feel like there was a lot of conflict, a lot of differences, a lot of... Um, there's like a lack of compromise. I feel like the feminine here made an effort to compromise every single time. Like you guys really made an effort to compromise every single time. And this person, I feel like they just constantly held this line of this line of like re restriction of what of them just like, you know, really ultimately um this is where I am, this is where I stand, and they were not giving, they were not budging, they were not making room for this, and a lot of you guys were like, to hell with this, you really said to hell with this, you do not, it's like you chose, again, give your relation to see, in reverse, I feel like the feminine here was like, I am not going to sit here and, and beg you, who do you think I am? There was a lot of, there was a lot of like, excuse me, what? So I'm getting my viewers, you're like, 
definitely I'm getting fire and air sign. You're dealing with a Capricorn Taurus Virgo, Sun Moon Rising. This person likes to wear really nice clothes. They care about what other people think. They're very big on their social life. This person loves nature. They are coming in trying to be all in your energy. They want to be all in your space. They're all up in your your energy field, okay? This person is like trying to invade your energy right now. Um, they're trying to talk to you. I feel like this person wants to reconcile. This person wants to reconnect. So how are they feeling? This person feels really emotional. And I think a big part of this is because the feminine here, you put your foot down and you're like, no, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. This person is feeling really chained to you. They're feeling addicted to you. They feel like they can't get away from you. They feel um, lustful towards you. There's a lot of lust. There's a lot of sex. There's a lot of like wanting to possess you. They want to be in you. Oh, girl. That's oh, especially if you're, well, if you're a feminine. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter. Whatever. But they're having these like really, really sexual thoughts and they want to possess you in this connection they are very jealous they're very very protective over you i feel like a lot of you guys have chosen to remove yourself and this is why they are like orbiting around your space i feel like there was definitely a moment in time where the, i feel like the feminine in this connection i'm hearing you need to make a decision or do you want me back or you kind of set out an ultimatum of like do you even want this like what is it what what is it you know and this person i feel they had a hard time matching you at the time they had a hard time meeting you halfway they are feeling really 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 upset about something right now i feel like they feel trapped with wanting you they've been desiring you i feel like this person has been drinking a lot or they're trying to numb themselves in this connection there's a lack of communication you guys may have like a conflicting level of communication like there's constantly like a battle here in terms of, of a communication they do feel like they want a fresh start like they they want to i'm hearing wipe the slate clean they want to remove all the past they want to remove any hurt they want to remove any pain this person is really trying to kind of reestablish a new narrative for you guys and i feel like they are feeling really anxious about you because i'm hearing some of them think you've moved on to someone else or they've seen you move on this person avidly checks your your social media so if you're here asking do they check my social media though yes yes they do yes they do honey okay. they do they sure do um they are gonna send you a message again with the page there's a page energy here this feels more like they're they're a little bit more on the younger side on the youthful side like they're not as experienced this person is not really um mature okay in their self-expression so i feel like a lot of them don't know how to approach this properly they don't know what to do with you in terms of an apology like i feel like they don't know how to apologize so i feel like this person might get creative so they're thinking about a creative way to apologize where they don't really have to say sorry because they feel very prideful this person wants to apologize with um a creative kind of way like writing or singing or poetry okay they are feeling really in tune with you is what i'm hearing they're embarking on a journey here oh i'm hearing they fantasize about you there's a lot of passion here okay i feel like what's happening between you is that i'm hearing betrayed someone here feels really betrayed like you put a lot of effort into this situation and i feel like this person your person may have walked away with someone else or there's an energy here of feeling betrayed of not being the one that they chose or just them kind of dismissing you or reacting kind of negatively okay so what's their next move pal two Yeah, they're feeling really conflicted right now. There's something in their life that's making them feel really trapped. I feel like if if they considered coming towards you, it would kill them if you rejected them. So this person does not want to be rejected. So they're trying to think of a very um, creative way to kind of come towards you. But they feel trapped by their circumstances. This person has a really low self-esteem. They feel bad 
because you know what this person really thought they were choosing the right person they didn't take your emotions like seriously I feel like they they um they kind of dismissed this when when it was such a special thing you guys gave this person a lot of time is what I'm hearing you gave this person a lot of time honey oh god you gave this person a lot of time you're like get it together boo get it together so i feel like they are going to kind of tune into you spiritually they're really going to tune into your spiritual energies so it's going to be like a 5d connection that you're going to feel more than anything their next move yeah they're going to communicate you guys they're going to communicate but again the communication is going to be really creative it's going to be poetic it's going to be different it may not be what you think it is it may be creative it may be sexual it may be them trying to tell you like oh my god i realize that you know, this is more than what I thought it was, or I, I realized that, you know, things are, they're, they're more powerful than I thought they were. I, you know, this connection, I'm really feeling it. And I really feel like, you know, we, oh, this person's so shy about coming towards you, you guys. They feel really uncomfortable about expressing their emotions. Yeah, they're going to say something along the lines of, well, I was hoping we can maybe see where it goes. And they're going to stutter. And I know I haven't been the best when it comes to making decisions. They're really going to tell you how they feel. Like they, they're going to be really honest with you. Okay, there's going to be a lot of communication here. But I feel like you're the feminine here is going to look at this and, and offer and be like, should I destroy it? Should I keep it? You guys are, are feeling really like done with this person you're like where was this when i gave you myself when i surrendered you know what i mean where was this when i surrendered so a lot of you a lot of you are just feeling like conflicted you're feeling kind of like resentful you're feeling like what the fuck you know what i mean like you're like why did it take this long like what is it like what is it about you know things should not things should not take this long they, they just shouldn't you know what I'm saying yeah this person um, they They've been really, 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 really thinking about you. They've been really thinking about what is going on. They're thinking about, you know, what this all means. And they're trying. They're, they're trying to come out of this confusion. Something about you really confuses them. And ultimately, you guys feel confused too because you're like, well, what do you want then? You know, it's like they want to come towards you. They want to be around you. But it's like there's so much pain, you know? There's like a lot of pain here. With the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like a lot of you guys may feel like, should I even work on this? Like, is it even worth it? They're going to come back, though. They are going to communicate with you. They are going to come back to talk to you. They are going to want to reconnect with you. Um, but it's going to be up to you because I feel like you guys are in a lot of pain right now. And you're like... So this is really a 5D connection right now because of the current circumstances. Um they will so what's their next move they're going to come talk to you but i feel like this is going to be in a letter form this person is either um they're big on letters they're going to write you a letter or they're going to send something in the mail as a way of apologizing or as an i'm sorry or kind of giving you a peace offering okay and then it's going to be up to you now when are they going to do this three to five days it's very soon it could be three weeks five weeks you decide what resonates but for me it feels like urgent like they're they're urgently trying to save this because this person fucked it up pretty bad okay all right my loves let's move on 
Pile three, what's going on here? All right, pile three. Let's see, what is their next move? What's their next move? So why don't we go ahead and start with the channeled message and see what's really going on. Okay, pile three, what's going on with this person? Wow, you guys are getting, um, you guys are definitely getting the energy of a crocodile, like an Egyptian kind of energy, okay? There's an ancient connection here. Both of you guys are really spiritually connected. You guys have several past lives together. Like, there's a lot. You guys have several past lives together. I'm hearing I recognize you this person it's interesting because I'm having a vision of you guys having a conversation and they constantly pull away they are so afraid oh my god this person loves your eyes they're like you hypnotize me with your eyes you really hypnotize me with your eyes and they're also saying you really get me going when it comes to your voice your eyes they they kind of feel like you're like like uh, Cleopatra or you're like um, you just look very like intense and they really are pulled in by this and I'm having a vision that whenever they talk to you this person talks to you and they pull away because of the intensity and they're wondering how you do what you do. This person doesn't know how you do what you do. Some of you guys are, I'm hearing, are alchemists. You're alchemists, okay? You guys are doing a lot of, um, maybe you're studying the occult or you're studying spirituality. I'm hearing holistic healing. So some of you guys may be healers and, you know, you're really into like the healing arts. And um, I feel this person is like mesmerized by you, okay? I do feel like they feel very in tune with you. They feel really in tune with you. And they're like incredibly mesmerized by you. Um, what's going on in this connection? This person, they keep walking away. They keep coming in and then they walk away. So I feel like there's something about this situation that really scares them. They really feel like fearful. They're really fearful about you. So I feel like you guys had an instant where there was a, a big magnetic pull. This person thinks you are so, so beautiful, that you are so independent, that you hold your own, that you know how to master yourself. Some of you guys are in school right now and they really love that. Some of you guys are just really intelligent and they love that. Some of you guys, I feel like with this um, heart, you know, heart to heart, they don't, it's like they're not ready to kind of, it's almost like this person has been avoiding the connection because of the intensity, but also because they are avoiding their own triggers. So I am seeing like a lot of mirroring here. They feel like this could last. I'm hearing this could last, this could last. Foundation matters. So this person's really worried about home. They're really worried about foundation and they're also really worried about money. And I feel like they look at you and they know that you deserve the best. So... I feel like you guys had a few conversations or a few experiences, but there wasn't anything else beyond it. It just feels like there was a lack of kind of building or, or growing. Um, and a big part of it is because the masculine in this connection keeps pulling back. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, and I feel... 
there's someone who got in the way of this you guys i feel like they were already feeling really pulled in and seduced by you i'm hearing they were seduced by you okay um but they feel i feel like someone kind of got in between there's a new love here so in the middle of you guys kind of connecting there was a third party who jumped in and things kind of became unrequited and i feel like you guys kept kind of pursuing this person or you kept trying to make it work you know and I feel like there is definitely a lack of co like cooperation or there's like a lack of um collaboration like they they, they kind of just dropped it like nothing and oh I'm getting a spider here so someone here has the spirit animal the spider or this relationship this relationship is um it's represented by the spider totem but either way, I feel like there's an energy here of um, this person kind of dropping it because it wasn't moving fast enough. But the thing is, this person, what happened, what I'm getting a vision of, this person chose somebody that was easier, like an easier conquest because they were easy to access or easy to have sex with or whatever it was. OK, and. And, and then it's like I'm seeing a constant reminder of you like they constantly think about you they constantly want to be around you um, and they realize that even though there was such a short period of time that you guys connected it was really meaningful it was more meaningful than this whole situation that they have I don't feel like it's super serious for a lot of you you guys but I feel like this person definitely um, sorry I'm playing with my hair and I know you guys are gonna be like what the heck I know this person kind of committed to someone here who they thought was going to be like easier for them or it was going to be more of a flow um and it turned out to be the opposite it almost feels like this person keeps looking away out the window to think about you while they're sitting next to someone so I feel like it was unrequited for a while like maybe you guys were really like um pushing you guys were really trying to make this work and then it didn't and then it just kind of fell apart they feel like you are a wish fulfillment though see now they're coming into the realization of the reality of who you are and what this is and yeah they feel really charged to come after you but I think that this person is also They've been watching you a lot. This person watches you a lot. I don't know if you guys are models or you're doing something out in public, but this person has their eye on you. Like they have their eye on you. How are they feeling about you? I'm hearing, can we please recover what we had? A lot of you guys are really in your power right now and you found out this person left you for someone else. Some of you guys found out that, you know, they left you, especially if you are a... Uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn you knew you heard through the grapevine or you saw something on on social media or you saw something that really you know kind of awakened the reality and the truth about this person and you're like oh hell no you're like oh hell no okay you're like mm -mm. you could be any sign though I'm also getting Leo Sag you guys are Leo Sag Aries but either way this person feels like they're kind of trying to figure out what this means because they see you as wife material but I feel like this person has been playing games there's been a lot of like letting other people get in between you I'm hearing this person has a hard time with their libido like they need to control their sacral they need to they need to heal their sacral chakra because it feels like it just feels like they're constantly you know in a place of they're like constantly in a place of like confusion but they let other people get in the way so I feel like you guys started off as good friends and I'm seeing a really deep deep meaningful connection and they still want this connection okay this person still wants this connection they do they feel you on so many levels and they think you're so strong they think you're so beautiful they really love everything about you okay they really do um but <sighs> Yeah, this person is like, 
I'm hearing they're torn between two different paths. They have two different paths. This person, they're looking at you and they're like, they know they could see a future with you. But one of the reasons why they removed themselves from you is because they knew that intensity was a lot for them. So one of the things um, with Reiki, when I do Reiki, it's like you have to be in a higher, it, it, it's like to accept that form of healing, your soul has to really vibrate with it. Like your soul has to really vibrate with it. Your soul really has to feel it. And if your soul isn't feeling it, then it's kind of like, it's hard to ascend. You know what I mean? Like you have to be willing to accept. It takes a lot of responsibility and it takes a lot of healing to accept that kind of healing from someone else. You know what I mean? And this person I'm hearing, they saw healing with you. They saw their future with you. And that scared them because this person is still caught up in a player lifestyle. Honey, Aries, okay? Aries energy all the way. And they may even have a situation that they're not fully ready to release yet. They, I'm hearing they compare you to everyone else. This person will shut up about you to their friends. So what is their next move? What is really going on here? What's your next move, pile three? Whoa, what's your next move towards you? This person wants to commit to you. Um, but there's definitely something in the way. Okay. Listen. Okay. You guys, this person has a lot of feelings towards you. They have a lot of feelings, uh, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but they are looking at you. Some of you guys really broke their heart. They feel like you did something to break their heart, even though they're the ones who've been in and out. Maybe you guys set strong boundaries. Some of you guys did something that triggered this person to feel a lot of pain, but I feel like there's third party all around this, to be honest with you. I feel like they want to come towards you with an offer. I feel like they're really trying to come towards you with an offer that is... Um, it's going to be a little bit on the selfish side of you guys. It feels like it's one-sided, like they need to win. They need to win with you. So I feel like this situation is coming from them feeling in pain. And I feel like if you're a Leo, Sag, Aries, you got to be in your upright position, honey, because this person is going to test you. I feel like they're going to test your confidence and how you really feel about yourself. Like they're going to try to lower your defenses. They want to get you on their level is what I'm hearing. This person's going to come back. They're going to um, try to get you on their level and they want you to be more like it, it's almost like if you have been in your power and you have been telling this person like, well, if you don't make up your mind, then I'm not going to be here. Or if you've been setting ultimatums, they want you to conform to gender roles like you're a feminine. I'm a masculine. You listen to me. You know, it's it's that sort of thing. So I feel like they're going to they're going to need to make a decision about you and this connection. And I feel like they're going to offer you something. I'm hearing tradition, tradition, tradition. They're going to offer you to go to an event that maybe involves their tradition and they want to see how you do in it. But they're also going to expect like this person is big when it comes to their own values and ideas. And I feel like they're going to offer you um, a dating situation even after all of this, because they do see you as the wish fulfillment. You are that one, but they're going to offer you something that involves you having to maybe conform to what they want you to do. So it's not going to be like what you want. It's going to be what they want. Okay. And then I feel like a big part of this is they want you to be very, very independent. This connection, listen, this person, they like to take a lot of time to think about things they like to think about things they like to reflect this person likes to do a lot of spiritual work in private um, this person has long hair they have braids or they just have long hair or short hair but I feel like long hair for the collective they like to meditate and they like to really think about and reflect on a spiritual level they like to spend a lot of time in retreat 
or they just like keeping a distance. And you guys have to be with that because when they offer you something, they're going to expect you to be in your power already. They want you to be in your power is what I'm getting, okay? And they know, see, their heart is very blocked with a lot of this ego energy. It's like you make them face their shadow every single time and this is why they're so defensive because a lot of them don't want to face the pain or they don't want to face being wrong or they don't want to face having to look like the one that that lets you get away because they want you so they're going to come in with a very very stern kind of offer it's going to be very traditional it's going to be very like well you know these are my beliefs are you with it and are you not because they want to see this as an offer now, like they see this as an opportunity to connect with you, but they need you to be in your power. You need to be independent. Otherwise, this person is going to take full advantage and you also need to set your own boundaries and your own rules. So their next move is going to be them coming towards you with an offer. Okay. Pile three, July, there's going to be a very straightforward offer of commitment. I'm hearing finances and career. So they're going to involve some kind of money in this offer, maybe some kind of home life in this offer, or they're going to um, propose something that's pretty big, like the next level up of commitment. Okay. Um, I don't know why I'm trying to tune into this person's heart space and I'm having a hard time. So I don't know if they're doing this to kind of prove a point I don't know if they're trying to prove a point to somebody it feels like they're trying to prove a point to some it feels egoic this doesn't feel like it's coming from the heart so be careful because this feels like it's almost like not that it's not authentic but this person they they have a lot of inner demons you guys this person has a lot of shadow work that they need to do and they're not working on it I'm hearing they have someone else waiting for them. And this is what is kind of, I, I feel, blocking too. Is they're not telling you that they have someone else waiting on a decision or they promised someone else a home life or they promised someone else a marriage or something. And they chose you. They're going to choose you to kind of take the next step. But they're leaving someone out in the cold. But there's just too much deception. Be careful. There's just too much. I don't know, you guys. I don't I don't like this this energy. They do want a happy home with you, though. They do want a happy home. They they look at you and they're like, I want that. So they look at you and they're like, I want that with her. You know, they think you're absolutely beautiful. But again, expect like heavy, heavy like activity in July. They are going to come towards you. They are going to offer you something big. But you need to be aware of who, if they're dealing with somebody else, because I feel like there's a lot of third party or there's like external influences this person, as I'm tuning in, I'm having a hard time tuning into their heart, like their heart space. So you may want to like revisit the motives is what I'm hearing. Okay. All right, my loves. I hope that helped. Bye. Oh, let's do the messages before I forget. Let's do messages of how they're feeling with Nicole's deck, Psychic Star. Yeah, this person is like, I'm in my own way. Like, they're doing things. This person did things to, sep like, remove themselves from you. They did things to completely sabotage this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they've been on a, on a soul journey for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they see you living your best life, honey. Okay. They're like, are you really happy without me? Well, I feel like this person plays a lot of games. So just be careful. A lot of Gemini energy, like a lot of inconsistency. So be aware. Okay. Because it feels like they're constantly like, constantly like shifting energies. I feel like it could be a really awesome outcome though, if you guys talk about it. Okay. A lot of communication needs to happen here. All right, my loves. Bye.